This is Peppermint OS 7 Respin. It's an incremental update of Peppermint OS 7. And it's based on Lubuntu 16.04. Unfortunately, it carries with it some of the defects of Lubuntu 16.04. The Network Manager applet didn't work during uh, installation or during initial startup, but I was able to fix it going to network connections in the Peppermint settings menu. Otherwise, it has a lot of improvements over plain old Lubuntu. For one thing, Windows snaps work by default. This is not the case in Lubuntu. The theming is a lot prettier than the rather stark Lubuntu theming. It comes with the Whisker menu, which we normally associate with the XFCE desktop. Now, Peppermint is designed as more of a netbook system. In other words, it's set up for people who use web applications rather than desktop applications. So, for instance, there's really no office application installed, but you have access to Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, etc., and it comes with ICE, which is a way of giving web applications a local desktop icon so that you can just get to them directly by clicking on the icon rather than first opening your web browser and then searching for the application, etc. So for instance, if I wanted to have a one-click access to YouTube, First, I'd open my web browser, which is Mozilla Firefox in this case. And it comes with the DuckDuckGo search engine, which I would probably get rid of. Anyway, I search for YouTube. And uh, once I get it, I'll copy the address. And then paste it into ICE name the application and put it on the internet menu then I'll search for an icon but right now I'm just going to leave it at the default ice icon and click on apply So, next time I want to get to YouTube, I'll just go over to Internet, and you see there's YouTube. I haven't signed in yet. If I wanted to sign in, I could have it go directly to my own channel, for instance. 
or to a particular web page. Now the only thing I've installed so far is simple screen recorder. Everything else is exactly as it came. And as you can see, the theming works throughout. I can install desktop applications. There's the software manager, which is basically the Lubuntu software manager. If I wanted to, I could install LibreOffice. Or there's a Synaptic Package Manager. So I could install LibreOffice from there, but I, instead I'm going to install GIMP. Click on Apply. I can apply. If I want to show the individual files, I can. So now if I look under graphics, I have GIMP. As usual, I'm going to make it a single window. So there it is, and it's also themed in the same way that the other applications are themed. Of course, you can change the theming if you want. It's so now Peppermint Dark 7. It's got several versions of that. If you wanted Greybird, you could do that. But I like the Peppermint Dark 7. If you want it in pink, you can get it in pink. Or red. or lighter, but I'll leave the Peppermint Dark 7 just the way it came.
And of course, there's lots of wallpapers, a lot more than you'll find in Lubuntu. Some of them are really interesting. Like this one, for instance. I think I'll leave that for a while. So basically, outside of the deficiencies of Lubuntu 16.04, aside from that, uh, this is really an excellent distribution. I think it's a lot better than plain old Lubuntu, and yet it's supported for three years just like Lubuntu. Even though it's designed to be a sort of netbook system, it works perfectly well as a full desktop system also. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.